कार्सिनोमा स्टमक सीए स्टमक रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर सी ए स्टमक ओके सो द रिस्क फैक्टर्स कैन बी न्यूट्रिशनल एनवायरमेंटल मेडिकल ऑक्यूपेशनल जेनेटिक एंड सोशल ओके तो जनरली द सी ए स्टमक इज सीन इन पेशेंट हैविंग पुअर सोशो इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस ओके एंड नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द रिस्क फैक्टर्स देन वील कम टू नो लाइक इन न्यूट्रिशनल फैक्टर्स आर लो फैट डाइट high complex carb or intake of nitrates okay now this environmental is lack of refrigeration poor food preservation and smoking okay this medical this medical is very important majority of the questions are asked regarding this medical factors associated with ca stomach okay medical is obviously h pylori infection then chronic atrophic gastritis ebv infection epstein bar virus infection then adenomatous polyps then history of partial gastrectomy and this many trier disease okay H pylori infection, chronic atrophic gastritis, EBV infection, adenomatous polyps, past history of gastrectomy or menetrius disease. Now, occupational is rubber and coal workers. The workers working in rubber industry and coal industry. Okay. Now, the genetic is male gender. along with that pernicious anemia hnpcc lee from any syndrome and blood group a okay and then this social is low socio economic status and alcohol is not a risk factor okay alcohol is not a risk factor for carcinoma stomach this is very important alcohol is not a risk factor and other than that the important points are this intake intake of nitrates lack of refrigeration and this history of partial gastrectomy rubber coal workers hnpcc lee from any syndrome and presence of pernicious anemia okay this is very important regarding the risk factors for carcinoma stomach now what all are the protective factors generally what they will do they will put three or four factors uh, three factors which are responsible for carcinoma stomach and then along with that they will put one of the factor which is a protective factor so this is also very important so this is remembered with the mnemonic sizec selenium iron zinc 
एस्पिरिन और विटामिन ए कैल्शियम और विटामिन सी ओके दीज ऑल आर प्रोटेक्टिव फैक्टर्स फॉर कार्थिनोमा स्टमक नाउ देर आर फ्यू क्लासिफिकेशन विच आर कॉमनली आस्ड प्रीवियसली ओके सो द क्लासिफिकेशन बिच इज ऑफ एडवांस गैस्ट्रिक कैंसर दिस इज बॉर्मेन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एडवांस गैस्ट्रिक कैंसर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द मैक्रोस्कोपिक अपियरेंस मैक्रोस्कोपिक अपियरेंस ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक कैंसर ओके सो इट इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर सपोज दिस इज अ वॉल ऑफ स्टमक एंड देर इज एडवांस गैस्ट्रिक कैंसर इन टाइप वन देर इज अ डिफ्यूज पॉलीपॉइडल ग्रोथ इज अ डिफ्यूज पॉलीपॉइडल ग्रोथ देन देर विल बी अल्सरेशन देर विल बी सेंट्रल नेक्रोसिस फॉलोड बाई अल्सरेशन इन टाइप टू देर विल बी अल्सरेटेड लीजन विद रेस्ड बॉर्डर्स ओके देर विल बी अल्सरेटेड लीजन विद रेस्ड बॉर्डर्स इन टाइप थ्री इट विल स्टार्ट टू इनफिल्ट्रेट ओके सो इन टाइप थ्री द लीजन विल बी इनफिल्ट्रेटिंग इन साइड ऑल्सो सो देर इन टाइप थ्री देर विल बी अल्सरेटेड लीजन इनफिल्ट्रेटिंग द वॉल ऑफ स्टमक इन टाइप फोर इट विल बी लाइनाइटिस प्लास्टिका और इट इज अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द वॉल और इट इज इन्वॉल्विंग द वॉल कंप्लीटली एंड इन टाइप फाइव इज नॉन क्लासीफाइबल ओके क्लासीफाइबल ओके this was used previously okay nowadays the questions are asked from lorentz classification which is very important very important for mcqs okay so generally the type of gastric cancer that we are reading or that we know about is the intestinal type okay so in intestinal type this is environmental associated with lot of environmental factors like lack of, lack of refrigeration poor food preservation technique and all okay it is associated with gastric atrophy followed by intestinal metaplasia it is environmental we have already know now it is more common in males increase with age there is gland formation or adeno ca or adeno carcinoma or well differentiated moderately differentiated adenocarcinomas well or moderately differentiated adenocarcinomas associated with hematogenous spread which is generally seen in normal carcinoma stomach now there will be apc gene mutation or microsatellite instability and it will be exophytic bulky lesion okay so these are the points and it is most commonly seen in the distal part of stomach okay this is the similarity similarity it is also very commonly asked similarity okay inactivation of p53 p53 inactivation or p16 inactivation this is common in both intestinal type and diffuse type okay now coming on to the diffuse type or the atypical type it is a familial type associated with blood group type a it is more common in females seen in younger patients poorly differentiated there is transmural spread or lymphatic spread there is no hematogenous spread associated with decreased e catherine gene and there is ulcerating lesion with more intraperitoneal metastasis or associated with linitis plastica okay so this is very important this is endemic this is epidemic okay so these points are very important regarding the lorentz classification the diffuse type is familial type 
associated with blood group type A more commonly seen in females more commonly it is seen in the proximal part most common site is in the proximal part of stomach proximal part there is more transmural spread or the spread along the wall okay so the linitis plastica or the ulcerating lesion types is more seen in the diffuse type there is decreased e catherin gene and it is ulcerating lesion but there are still similarities that there is inactivation of tumor suppressor gene p53 and p16 in both intestinal and diffuse type and it is very important for mcq point of view okay now we are other important points about carcinoma stomach carcinoma stomach maximum incidence is seen in i'll enumerate the points first and then we'll discuss maximum incidence most common site most common site in pernicious anemia most common site of metastasis chemotherapy regimen most common symptom investigation of choice for diagnosis investigation of choice for staging okay so the maximum incidence of carcinoma stomach is seen in japan the most common site is antrum most common site of ca stomach in pernicious anemia is fundus most common site of metastasis is liver it is spreading more commonly by hematogenous route okay and the chemotherapy regimen which is given is ecf which is epirubicin cisplatin and 5 fluorouracil now the clinical features the most common symptom is abdominal pain followed by weight loss okay so abdominal pain is the most common symptom for ge junction tumor the most common symptom will be dysphagia okay okay now there is a separate classification for the ge junction tumors which is known as ge junction adenocarcinomas for ge junction adenocarcinoma there is a separate classification system which is known as modified sieverts classification or sieverts classification okay and it is divided in three types so the most commonly asked question regarding the sievert classification is sievert classification is for ge junction tumors yes or no okay so or in fact they will ask uh, there is a squamous cell carcinoma at the gastroesophageal junction and which is present at the level of ge junction and what among the following is the type of according to of the tumor according to the sieverts classification and they will give type 1 type 2 type 3 and then none of the above so this ge junctional or the junctional adenocarcinomas classification is only for adenocarcinomas so in that question the answer will be none of the above but if they are asking about adenocarcinoma specifically at the junctional adenocarcinoma then only the sievert classification will apply okay and it is divided into three types the one which is present above the cardia are type 1 which is the true cardia at the level of true cardia is type 2 
and below the cardia is type 3 this is to understand and then they have divided this type 2 as 1 centimeter above to 2 centimeter below cardia okay so if the tumor is present 1 cent in between 1 centimeter above to 2 centimeter below cardia then it is type 2 c words and if it is present in between 1 to 5 centimeter above the cardia then it is type 1 1 to 5 centimeter above cardia then it is type 1 if it is present 2 to 5 centimeter below cardia then it is type 3 and this is in relation to the epicenter of the tumor okay if the epicenter of the tumor is present at 3 centimeter below cardia then it is type 3 if it is present at the junction or 0.5 centimeter below the g junction then it is type 2 and if it is present above then it is type 1 okay now coming on to the investigation of choice so the, the investigation of choice for diagnosis is upper gi endoscopy and biopsy okay this is for diagnosis and investigation of choice for overall staging is cect abdomen this is also the best investigation for staging and if in question it is specifically mentioned that it is only for t staging then the best investigation or investigation of choice for t staging investigation of choice the investigation of choice for t staging is endoscopic ultrasound okay